Number 10 is Cyclops. Last but not least, Cyclops is another dangerous surfing spot which has caused countless injuries. However, it likely is one of the least surfed spots present in our list, mostly due to the fact that it can only be accessed by boat. It's also a newly discovered wave that offers an extreme depth change, a razor sharp coral and all the other elements needed to class this spot in our list. Number 9 is It is surfing spot is located of the South African coast, near Cape Town. It is regarded as one of the most famous surfing spots in the world, due to the incredible heights of the waves that form here. It's also worth pointing out that the spot is located near some of the most shark infested waters in the world's oceans. Number 8 is Was once a truly famous surfing spot, with people from all around the world coming to test out the waves. Now, thanks to the boom in tow surfers who prefer the out reefs, the Waymere has lost in popularity. The surfing spot, however, was one of the first main regions for high wave surfing, having hosted numerous events throughout the years. Adventurous surfers still tackle these waters, yet deaths are not all that uncommon. Number 7 is Shipston Bluff The Shipston Bluff is one of the only waves capable of mimicking the views that Tihapu offers. Not only is I incredibly challenging to surf through this region, but surfers are also required to wear a four-thirds wetsuit due to the cold weather. Usually, risk-takers are present in this region, as most surfers are aware of the dangers associated with the Shipston Bluff surf spot. Number 6 is... Many surfers regard this spot as one of the most challenging surfing areas in the world. It is located on the southwest part of Tahiti, and includes a razor-sharp coral reef that can easily cause injury or death if surfers fall into it. Tihapu is unique due to the heavy nature of their waves. In fact, during large swells, the ocean looks like it is folding over itself, thus granting a unique view. Reports indicate that just one surfer died here, but many others were injured during there. Number five is Ghost trees the name should be enough to scare most surfers away, yet many still venture into the waters of the ghost trees surfing spot. Those that have the courage to do so will have to deal with cold and shark infested waters, mostly great whites. The waves draw their energy from the North Pacific, with waves being able to reach over 80 feet in height. Fortunately, the ghost trees is a recent discovery, so the region hasn't been able to claim too many lives, yet many professional surfers are now venturing into these waters. Number four is The Mavericks surfing spot is located in what's known as the California's Red Triangle. The name comes from the incredibly large number of great white sharks that are present in the area, but also due to other forms of sea life that can turn out to be quite dangerous for both beginner and professional surfers. Not only this, but the Mavericks region is also an intimidating spot, due to its cold water. In fact, throughout history, the spot has managed to claim the lives of numerous expert surfers, Waymere B.A.Y. This surfing spot is known for the incredibly high waves that it gets. According to reports, it seems like the surfing spot saw its first death sometime in 1943. Until now, it has claimed many other lives, 
both of tourists and expert surfers coming from throughout the world. In fact, waves here can be as high as 20 feet, measured from the back, via the traditional Hawaiian manner. Regardless of this, numerous surfers still venture out here, with the Waimea Bay being a popular surfing spot in the region. Number two is Puerto Escondido. Mostly known by the name of the Mexican pipeline, this particular surfing spot has claimed a similar number of lives when compared to the Banzai pipeline. It's worth pointing out the fact that not only unknowing tourists have been killed by the waves, but rather professional surfers as well. There's also a massive submarine canyon situated just near the shore, which can be quite dangerous, especially if surfers fall from their boards. Number one is The Banzai Pipe Located just on the northern shore of Oahu, the pipeline is currently regarded as the heaviest and deadliest wave in the world. Throughout history, the pipeline has taken the lives of numerous surfers, and if the calculations are correct, more lives than all the other dangerous surfing spots combined. Not only has it killed newbie and medium surfers, but it is also responsible of the deaths of numerous professional surfers.